Welcome to Snake Warrior Island Natural Area. Let's go hiking today. So when you add the nature preserve like this, you're supposed to walk slow. Take your time and try and find all the animals creatures out here. Y'all looking around trying to find stuff. No one's here. Never know what you'll find. This is a boardwalk. It's kind of good. See, there's a little path through there. I found it by observing. In nature, you observe to find things. This is terrible litter. Littering is against the law. You could get fined for it. And it's bad for the environment. It's nice out here. Very nice. We heard that. There's something in there. I don't think we can find it because it must be camouflaged. This is a marsh. Those are Florida native alligator flag plants. Over here guys, we have a green iguana, Florida invasive species. This is a green iguana. non-native to Florida remember audience it is illegal to release invasive animals that you keep as pets into the wild if you see an invasive animal report it to ifegone1.org and they'll try to remove the invasive Florida animal but still isn't this green iguana magnificent so over here we got some more in the invasive green iguana Wander and as an escape route. So. Big males can go up to six feet in length. There's one, two, three. The one over there that we already mentioned. Probably. So, do we have another green iguana just over there? Green iguanas can be quite speedy. They might look slow, but when somebody chases after them, oh boy, they can run. They look just a duck on the on the trail. The cover thing. It's a beautiful cover. See the speed? That is one closer, and see that speed? 
Blank in the water. It will. Okay, let's try and try to find some other creatures. Right over there? That's a galanu. And we have a bunch of birds up here. It looks like I get too close. It might scare the bird. Okay. Okay, let's identify these species. We have a lot of white ibises. The white ones and the ones like that one right there, those are white ibises. They are coordinated the birds, so they're okay. And those smaller ones like the one there, those are galanus. That's the common galanus. Now we don't want to get too close to these birds because we don't want to scare them. We don't want to disturb them. We want to put little trust that these animals as we possibly can. So we're going to say six. These side abysses are also known as hurricane birds. So they're the hurricane indicator species. So this is a mallard duck. Isn't its colors beautiful, folks? March to the marsh. Something from the ground, apparently. So many different species. This tree here behind me is an oak tree. You know, all these oak trees produce acorns. This is a Florida native great egret. It eats frogs and fish. Right now, it's just hunting. Another white ibis, two white ibises. A better view of the Florida native great egret. An egret is a type of heron. Green eye. See that plant hanging up from the cabbage palm? This it's the first stage of life of a strangler fig. What I'm going to say, this thing right here is its roots will come on the ground years and years. Its roots will entangle this cabbage palm and eventually, well, strangle it. This is the epiphyte stage of a strangler fig. Another white ibis, audience. That's a lake. Say lake. Another epiphyte strangler fig. Actually, we can see where it, it attached to the cabbage palm.
so pretty out there, audience, isn't it? Did you know cabbage palms are not trees? They're in the monocon family, in the grass family. Look at another tree going all the way up there. Wow. Wow. Goodbye, Snake Warrior Island Natural Area.